Hey, how are you? Come on, Nairobi. Ah, yes, yes. wonderful to see you. Yes, yes. Hey, Asante. Uhuru ne de terege. Moga de ne de terege. Rege. Mora da rokero makana kire nyaga itukati. Kire nyaga itukati. Ne do to ne kuo. Na no idwaya. Ne makara ma. Wapi duru? Wapi duru? Wapi duru ya uhuru mwa wa Kenyata? Wapi duru ya kameme? It's a nice time and I'm back. Yeah, looking at the political activities, the state of politics in the country. And from the video you have watched, you can realize that that is what we call the political realignment. Right? Yeah, as we know, former head of state was actually celebrating his party day. And you when you look at the crowd, the arrangements, the setup. The people who attended, it's like it's a political rally or something. Because now we can realize that there is a political uh, alignment. Yeah, People are now regrouping. Yeah, without forgetting the past week, which, uh, what has happened. Um, the, the woos actually surrounding the impeachment of the, the VP, Deepi Gashawa, and uh, the court processes. You can realize that there is more than celebrating a party day. And we know Uhuru has been silent all through. Yeah, Uhuru has not been saying anything about the impeachment of Gashawa, even though he apologized. But now he has not said anything. Okay? So it means like now the mountain people have realized that they are going to lose, they are losing. So they have to look for a way of making sure that they, are, they keep in touch. You know, power is now sliding. Eh? It's sliding away. Power is slipping away. So they have to make sure that they have to come together. They have to make sure that they apologize to the former president, who actually took most of his time, much of this time, telling them that now the head of state, the current head of state, you cannot trust him. But now they have seen by themselves. He has started by impeaching their own son. Even if the son himself, I cannot say that he's 100% good, but no man is good. Hmm? But he can be better, you know? And as we know, Gashawa himself is a, a honest man. He always speaks honestly. But who, who is ready to listen to an honest man? In politics, it's about interests, you know? It's about keeping your mouth shut, talking when necessary, yeah? So if they say that it's better use your eyes and you keep your mouth shut, but Gashawa cannot do that because he's a honest man. He can speak when he's not happy about something, he can speak when he sees something not going his way. 
So that is what the problem now comes in. And as you can see, when I saw, I saw Kalonzo Musioka actually attended. Njenga Karume was also there in present, right? And others who were there. And if you look at this uh, event clearly, you can realize that there must be a political uh, plan, yeah? So they are regrouping. And when it comes to actually mobilization of the people, you find that Njenga still has that power, that muscle of bringing together the people of the mountain, the youths. Youths listen to him much. You remember, you know, he has a following. He has a massive following also. So when it comes to politics, you must know how to go about this, right? And so long as now Uhuru uh, is the former president, he knows all, he knows everything which uh, comes about politics. So he was not to come out publicly and uh, actually hold a rally to declare that now he's against the, the reigning president. No, he was to, they, they organized it. It's like, you know, they are having to celebrate this party day so that they can speak this political, whatever plans, or they can show that now they are regrouping and uniting with other, other hosted members of uh, uh, other parties like, no, Caronzo now is out of the program because Baba has joined the government. Caronzo, there is no, is a member of parliament or a member of the party who has got an end government job, as we are talking. So he's, he has also seen that Baba, he has isolated him. So he should have to make sure that he looks for a way of actually getting to be heard by the government also. Now, it's like Caronzo uh, is the one remaining as a, an opposition leader. Because Baba now is in the government, yeah. As I saw them, they were shaking hands and doing what they were doing. In the stages for as from the video, you can realize that Caronzo should have to look for a way to meet other leaders like now Njenga, so that they can they can actually form an alliance, so that they can actually have the negotiating power, yeah. They have the negotiating muscle so that the government also can listen to them. Because right away we do not have uh, an opposition, active opposi opposition. Yeah? Baba is still fighting for other posts in the, in the government. He's still destabilizing. But now, so long as Ruto agreed, they have to move steadily. They have to make sure that they get what they want before we get to 2027. A lot of things are going to happen in between, right? Yeah. So, uh, people of the mountain, people of the mountain, you can notice that they have realized that they made a mistake of not listening to their son, the former president. And now they have seen by themselves that now Ruto is actually pushing them to the edge by starting, by, by starting uh, the impeachment of Gashawa. Actually, Gashawa is pushed, pushed to the edge, yeah? And right away as we are talking, the people from the mountain have realized that, yeah? They have nothing now remaining. If Gashawa is moving or is ousted as the VP, it means they have lost everything. They will not be having anything to negotiate in the government in the first place because the VP has been impeached. Now, who is going to be, who is going to take the, the space of the VIP? Is it Kindik? Kindik is from Meru. Yeah? Kindik is not a Kikuyu, it's from Meru. So it means that the people from the mountain are going to lose terribly. Number two, the people from the mountain, yeah, they have now learned, but they had way. They have not, uh, they have not actually forgotten that it is the other day they were being advised by Uru Kenyatta to vote for Raila Odinga, yeah? He can take care of them. But right away, Raila Odinga himself, now he has joined Ruto in the government because right away as we are talking, Raila Odinga has got four CSs. And still, 
as rumors are going around, as I was talking about in a previous video about um, beaching Wetangula, maybe, or I can say that, maybe he's also hiding the speaker's position in parliament, which is going to actually uh, propose one of his members, or dear members, maybe who is an MP or something like that, so that they can take that position in parliament. Which means now Papa is working on a different uh, a different project. Yeah. And the people of the mountain, they are getting nothing. And in the government right now, you can see the people adding Barastatos, they are from the uh, the Rift Valley, from the the head of state this year, region. So uh, people of the mountain are still crying. Everything the government is doing is actually against them. Yeah? Because the people from the mountain are the people. We know them as business people. So when you increase the taxes, it means they are affected more. I am not saying that there are no other Kenyans, the people of the country, doing business. But sincerely speaking, people from the mountain, they are the one actually contributing to the country's uh, tax, whatever that bracket because they own properties, houses, they are paying taxes, they are importing stuff, they are taking that. So when the taxes are high, everyone is crying, the business is not going well at all. Okay? So that's why in celebrating who is part of today, actually they are regrouping, actually they are apologizing in public, and now they want to come together. Okay? Uh, by coming together, now they are going to look the way forward, right? They are going to look the, look for the way forward so that they can know how to go about this. Okay? So, as I can say is that that is now how uh, the political whatever operations are going on right now. And now more is going to come. And we are going to watch and see actually what happens next and as you can see about the Rigji, Rigji himself yeah, he has realized that there is nobody who is going to come for his rescue why because he has been talking a lot yeah abusing everyone now people are also watching him from a distance and even if uh, even if is not good enough. You cannot fight your brother from the house. Sometimes you can fight in the house, but you can't fight from outside. Sometimes you you have to support, but when you go behind the curtains, you can tell your brother, you know what, bro, take it slow. It is not supposed to be like that. These people cannot remember the statements of the now impeached PP. He used to talk tough against Kenyatta family used to talk tough against Kenya being the company and you don't have shares, you don't have nothing. He used to talk tough. They can run the government without Baba. But now Baba is in the government and the VB is out of the government. He doesn't have anything he can say. So let us keep and watch what happens next. Yeah, guys, as uh, we continue, I appreciate so much. Your response is massive. So keep watching and uh, support me by subscribing to my channel. Uh, like, share, and comment as I keep on bringing you scintillating reports about the trending news in our country and outside, inspiring us and everything. So thank you so much and uh, I appreciate so much. Keep subscribing, keep watching, keep sharing. Yeah, as a way of actually growing together. Thank you so much.